Hello YouTube, Basin Truck here. And today I want to talk about building a landscape trailer. Take a seat and don't forget to watch some of my other awesome videos. All right guys, today we're gonna to do this a little differently. I figured nobody wanted to listen to a grinder run for approximately eight minutes or whatever this video is gonna wind up being. So I will do a voiceover narration. You can see my garage trailer in the background. I need to cut a bunch of this metal up to reinforce and build things to finish this up. So here I am cutting two by two tubing, about two 20 foot sticks. I need to cut up in some various lengths for the side gate, the rear gate, the frame reinforcement, and the tongue reinforcement. So you can see me measuring, cutting with a grinder with no guard. The story behind that is it's a four inch grinder. I went to go buy some four inch grinder wheels and the brand I wanted and they sold them in packs of 100. And I'm like, you know, I really don't need 100 four inch grinder wheels. So I found a pack that sold it in 50 off of Amazon in the similar items below, if you're familiar with Amazon. So I added that to cart. Well, Apparently I didn't pay enough attention because they turned out to be six inch grinder discs. So I made a grievous error there. But being the hard headed idiot that I am, I was like, I'm using these bad boys. They're made in USA. And I'll tell you what, I'm quite impressed. This is the first disc I've used. I cut some other metal with it earlier. But now you can see I've cut all the two inch tubing. Now there is two sticks of 20 foot of 2x2 two two angle iron in front of the tubing that I will get to later, I believe, or maybe in a minute. I don't recall. We'll find out. Nope. It'll be later. So here I am preparing the trailer for the side gate. As you see, I'm grinding on the frame because originally I decided to make the gate width 48 inches. Things had changed, and we decided, you know what? We would like to be able to fit larger equipment up the side gate. So I wind it out to, I believe, 56 inches, I think I made it. I don't really remember. But the piece I'm fabbing up there was for the bottom of the gate. Now, right now, I'm putting in that reinforcement between the two, the, the two pieces of frame... You can see the long one on the right that is the tongue. It goes all the way into the trailer from the receiver ball. It's pretty long. Catches a bunch of different points of the frame, which is really good for rigidity and structural strength. And I decided to add another piece there because the back piece doubles up the 2x2 two two and supports the axle. Now, in hindsight... I think I would have rather have just used 4-inch C-channel for the whole frame, but it's a little late at this point. So, right now, I'm just trying to figure out and test fit the hinges for the side gate. I bought some little tubular hinges with some grease cirques. I originally was going to put them on, but I didn't like how close they sat to the frame and to the gate. So I wound up welding on some little spacers onto the trailer in the, in the front gate frame. So it spaced it out. So right now, I believe I'm just tacking it up there, test fit it, see function. So I believe I'm happy with it at this point. So I'm cutting some of the 2x2 two two angle because the rest of the side gate is going to be the angle iron. Just the base is going to be the 2x2 two two tube. The reason I did that was because I had originally made the rear gate for this trailer all out of 2x2 two two angle. And I just didn't like how much it flexed. They w I mean, it's a mu it was a much wider gate, obviously. And you can kind of see it in the back left corner behind the Harbor Freight Predator engine box there behind the welder gas tank that little angle up there that's the gate i'm gonna wind up cutting that up it's all twisted i don't like it so i decided to use the two by two tube at the base 
so I would lose that flex when you lifted the, it up at the corner. So on this one, here we go. I've cut all the two by two angle. I've tacked it all together. I'm gonna throw it on, test fit it. In there. Yeah, I've tested it out. Up. Down. Works well, I'm happy. So there's the start of my gate. So now I'm gonna burn in all the edges since they were just tacked in place before. I should jump around here in a second to each of the corners. Now I will say on the rear gate, I've decided to use the two by two tube on three of the edges at the bottom and both sides. Since the rear gate's gonna be much wider, I believe it's, how I did I, I, um, I don't know, it's gonna be wider. So I decided to add for more rigidarity to use tube on the sides and just angle at the very back at the end of the gate. So we'll get to that in one of these videos. So now I'm gonna do the cross supports inside the gate. I'm gonna cut those out. This will support the expanded metal so you can drive equipment up. And I need two pieces for this. There's one. I think the piece that I, that was left was too short, so I think I had to cut off, yeah. I had to cut off another piece off of the other 20 foot stick. So we'll cut that off. Throw it up there. Close enough, a little grinding. Now here I am tacking these pieces in. Can't see it before, but here we go. Here's a better idea. I've actually recessed these pieces of angle. So the expanded metal will be flush to the top of the gate so there won't be any edges. Now here I've got some half inch by half inch angle that I'm tacking onto the side and that will support the edge. I'm gonna wind this video up so I will catch you on the next installment of part three. Thanks for watching. Throw a comment down below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.